Well, Nalida, I can tell you that all of the MECs of the Eastern Cape are behind are in this building behind us. Various stakeholders in the economic sector are also present here. I can even count ministers are also here. So in a way to drive the economy of this province and um, bring much investment to, the, to alleviate the poverty levels and unemployment rates that this province continues to face as it's one of the poorest provinces, particularly in those rural areas, and they are planning to use the automotive sector, the agricultural sector, as a means to boost this economy of the Eastern Cape. And um, we are hoping that pledges will be made here, that's what the organizers are saying, so that um, we can start seeing the results and the fruits of this investment conference and not just make it a talk show, Naledi. And we are hoping to see that um, investments being made, that's what they are saying as the organizers. But let me bring in the MEC for Economic Development into the conversation, Omlungi Sumvoko. A very good morning to you, sir, and thanks for your patience. Um, with the strides that the province is making to bring to attract investors into the province, um, is the ground really fertile enough to bring that investment? Uh, greetings. Um, yes, the ground is fertile for bringing investments um, into the province. Um, this conference will cover three areas. Firstly, it will demonstrate and unveil the um, investments um, um, pledged and made in the province uh, in the sixth term administration. We will also um, um, unveil and demonstrate those recently launched uh, projects which is in this year and it will also um, cover new investments that would that would be uh, coming to the province uh, in the very near future. So uh, judging by uh, the, the fact that we still have a number of investors interested in, in coming to invest in the province we think the ground is fertile. Have we started seeing the fruits of the previous con investment summit? Um, have the have the lives of the people been changed from the last previous investment conference? Uh, we haven't had an investment conference for, for quite a, lo a long time, yes. but you might have noticed that um, there have been quite a number of uh, announcements made uh, in terms of investments in the province by Mercedes-Benz, by um, VW, by uh, Transnet. Um, all of those investments are investments that have, to a larger extent, uh, brought change in the lives of the people because they've been able to um, create some jobs and which jobs would um, uh, result into people being able to put uh, uh, food in the table. So they, 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 there have been quite a number of in investments uh, in, in the province and uh, yeah, I, I, I can safely say that those that have started uh, with the investments, the implementation of those investments have created quite a number of jobs within the province. Of course, it's not enough. We, we need more investment, but as you know, the economy is depressed and you know we've got our own uh, challenges that are beyond our, us as the province challenges of load shedding that many of the investors would also uh, raise so but we, we think the, the ground is fertile tell us about the pledges that are going to be made I know you don't want to tie yourself to anything but tell us about the pledges that will be made and hopefully we see them being made well I think there would be pledges made um, to uh, around to uh, about 40, 46 billion rands that will be made as pledges here, but I'm not able to say these are the pledges that will be made. They will be made across the private sector and the public sector, as I, as I indicated earlier, that we've got uh, public vest, um, sector entities that are, also, that are also going to commit in, in this one. I'm sure after this conference, I'll be able to stand boldly and tell you who, 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 who pledged what, uh, if you didn't catch that uh, in good time. The confidence of investors, particularly the private sector, um, often shy away from elements of corruption. They don't invest money where there's, they know that there's no guaranteed or there's no stability within a governmental sector or political sector. How is the province in that regard? Uh, let me start by saying that um, in the province there is no instability in government. So th that is a plus from our side. Uh, we might have challenges at local government level and some of these challenges we we are addressing as a province the, the premier has has really um, decided to have a focus on local government and um, local government precisely because uh, local government is what is a, is a sphere 
that is very close to the people, but also a sphere that could play a better role in creating a conducive environment for economic development. So he is starting a PMU that's going to look at how municipalities spend the monies in creating economic infrastructure as well. So there isn't any instability, but it's just to ensure that they perform better. When you come as an investor, you, you submit a plan to do something. It doesn't take you a year. It actually takes you three months or so. So this is, this, these are matters that are, are getting attention from the office of the premier, of course, with, with treasury and economic development also being part of those attempts. So, yeah, we're looking at that and uh, we're hoping for the best. Uh, I'm sure in the next investment conference we'll be able to say we've been able to turn around a few municipalities and now they are performing better. Thanks a lot for your time, sir. Great. Thank you very much. Well, Naledi, that was the MEC for Economic Development in the Eastern Cape, Mulungi Simvoko. Optimistic that um, F46 billion rand will be invested by, will be pledged by those who are in attendance here. Well, we'll have to make our way inside this East London ICC as the Premier of the province, Oscar Mabuyane, is set to open the ceremony.